Yo, nerds. Happy Effit Friday. Uh, coming off of a 6-0 USA win today in World Cup qualifying, figured I would bust out another unlabeled brown bottle. Um, it's amazing to me that I'm keeping the unlabeled brown bottle straight, but I believe this is an Elder P joint, the Citra Kolsch, or Kolschitra, which is really hard to say for me. Uh, so let's bust this bad boy open and see what it's all about. Elder had sent me one of these, oh, hello, uh, I don't know, a while ago, and for some reason the bottle came dead flat. Um, so I said, it's a rad beer, but it's flat. What are you doing to me? Thinking I was just going to give him shit. Being the stand-up guy he is, he went above and beyond, dropped another bottle to me, um, because, let's be honest, Elder's like the greatest guy ever. So, we're going to cut her off right there and, and let you revel in the the oh shit beauty of this beer um it looks freaking amazing elder seriously it also smells freaking amazing oh wow the citra is really the citra is really good but you still get that colchiness it's almost like a it's not sulfur but it's got that like that colchiness um which if you've had a few colches they have this weird like not exactly a lager character, not exactly an ale character. They have their own, like, their own deal. So, to, uh, to Elder. Cheers, nerds. Yep, that's what... Damn, that's a good summer beer. Um, it has that Kolsch, like... Bam! Crispness. Um, super clean beer, but it's just, it's crisp and snappy. It's my new favorite band, The Interrupters. Uh, I really, really like these guys. Um, I know there's a few other punk rock kind of kids. Uh, Dan, I don't know if you've heard of these guys yet, but you should check them out. Um, they are uh, kind of like a Tim Armstrong... Is, is nurturing them. So I know you're not a rancid guy, so maybe you're not an interrupters guy either, but I really like these guys a ton. There's my music review for the day. Let's uh, get back to the beer. It's awesome. It's so crisp, but it's still got, it's a nice hot flavor. The bitterness is like dead on where you would want it for this beer. Um, Brad, you, you, you freaking killed this beer, dude. It was good flat. Don't get me wrong. With a little bit of carb in it, this beer is really awesome. Um, this is a perfect, like, hot camp. Like, if, if you were camping when it was hot and you had a keg of this stuff, that's living. Man. I would say if if you don't know who Elder P is, check him out, but if you don't know who Elder P is, just hit the off button. Go go read a book. Go crochet something. This whole brew tube thing's probably not for you. Man. Elder killed it. Love this beer, man. I might have to I might have to score the recipe. Um, just I, I'm kind of curious about the hop schedule you use because this would be really good um, as an IPL too. I think um, it's I feel like it's a recipe that could kind of morph into a lot of different things really easily because the the malt the malt bill of the grist is is really good. Um, it's just a clean, nice drinking beer. It's gorgeous. It's a uh, you know, well, you can see what color it is. It actually, I feel like that represents fairly well. Maybe it's a little darker on your side than my side, but um, I'm digging it. 
Mm. All right, that's enough. Enjoy the music, the interrupters, go check them out. Man, Elder P, knocking it out of the park. Yandu, my brother. Yandu, nerds.